Uh, Grand Crew uh, is a 40-year-old studio on a 100-something, 110-year-old boat. Um, Dutch barge, uh, which was made into a studio by Pete Townsend in the late 70s. Um, my association with it goes back for about 15 years. Uh, it was used to be moored outside Pete's old studio, uh, Eel Pie Oceanic, uh, which I worked in. And uh, this was moored outside. Uh, it's been here in St Catherine's Dock in central London for about eight, nine years. In the last two, three years, two years, it's been a commercial facility. Um, which I kind of take care of and run, manage. I sort of work with Pete Townsend quite closely on pretty much everything he does now. Um, and I've worked with, you know, been associated with him and The Who for 15 years now. Um, outside of that, I've worked on loads of things here, at my old studio in Hackney um, and at Pete's old studio as well. In the studio itself, um, we've got loads of people coming in all the time. We've had uh, a few of the X Factor type people, uh, Fleur East, we've had Mo, who was the, the, uh, the winner of The Voice this year. Uh, we've had years and years, spent a few weeks here. Uh, I'm managed by a company called Pieces of Eight, who are a management and publishing company uh, for producers, songwriters. And we struck upon the idea about having a, uh, a songwriting camp, which is kind of quite a common thing at the moment, uh, on the boat, We're trying to work out, it took us a while to work out how to do it. We did a sort of a tester one in April, this is the second one we're doing. We worked out a way that we can have three spaces, one of them's quite small, uh, but, uh, and, and we can have uh, three artists, three pro laptop producers, three top line musician producers working together, and it rotates throughout the rooms, and uh, so everybody works with everybody else pretty much. Uh, and in different rooms each day. The last one we did, there were three artists, Jodie Abacus, uh, who signed over here from, to Ministry, uh, Alexander Oscar, who signed to Sony Denmark, and Noep, who signed to Sony Sweden, uh, who's also here this time at the moment, actually. And I know that of the nine songs, obviously, that were written last time, certainly th three, four, three or four of them certainly got developed further. Uh, and some of them are up for a release now. Obviously, it was only in April, so you know, it has to go through all the motions. But um, yeah, I know some of them are being released as part of the artist's new material. So, so the studio's got uh, a, an SSL uh, AWS 948, uh, which I really like. And obviously, it's quite a small footprint desk, so uh, that's the sort of centerpiece. Gear-wise, we've got some good monitors, we've got some really nice old mic pre's, compressors, outboards, good instruments, 10 guitars, piano, Wurlitzer, some synthesizers. You've got a medium-sized uh, uh, live room, which is actually sounds big for drums, much bigger than it looks. Um, but we can do a band in there, um, we can work out ways of doing that. You've got a big control room, actually. It could be the other way around. It could be, we could have the control room in a smaller space and the live room bigger, but this works best for modern production because a lot of the time people are just hanging out. So we've got two sofas, it feels like a living room, everybody's always comfortable, you're on a boat, it's great. Uh, and then we've got a space at the end which is kind of machine room and there's a kitchen, um, all of which when you're doing a songwriting camp uh, with nine people climbing over each other is, is a bit frantic, but it's actually really fun, so. A number of years ago, I had a, an RME Fireface 400, I think, which was a little half-U uh, rack, 18 8 outs? I can't quite remember. I remember using it a fair amount and being blown away at the time, sound quality-wise, from the thing I'd been using previously. Um, and at that point in my own sort of career and my own production, you know, I was sort of jumping around between Logic and Pro Tools quite a lot. I'd been using Pro Tools, and I'd always had uh, uh, some kind of sound card, sound box unit that I could use with Logic. Um, the one that I had prior to that was kind of getting old and long in the tooth, so I, I'd read about the RME thing and thought, I'll just give that a go. It seems like the right price thing, and I'd read great rev reviews. And sure enough, I was blown away by it. It seemed comparable to the kind of quality that I was used to in a proper studio. But um, in doing this, it's kind of one of the first companies I'd, you know, speaking to you, one of the first companies I would, I'd sort of turn to to look for, for uh, interfaces to use on, on projects like this. 
We have the uh, Babyface Pros, two of those, and the Fireface UCX, which is similar size to the one I used to have. Um, from what I've, I haven't used the, um, the that one as part of this. I've used the Babyface one, uh, which is great actually. Sound-wise, plugged it straight into a couple of Genelec um, powered monitors in the kitchen, which you'll see, uh, and it sounded great. What we want to do in the future, hopefully, um, is more of more of these songwriting camps. It's, you know, you're dipping your toe in the water, it's a bit of a pun, but um, each time working out what the best way to do it is, you're on a boat, so you're not in a building where it's kind of so easy to manoeuvre people around, but we're, so we're working out how it works best. What we've been doing here is if something gets to a point where it's a particularly good song that the artist wants to therefore use on their album or as a release, uh, I invite them back come and just spend an afternoon tidying up, revocaling if necessary, doing, you know, doing all the things that just get it from that sort of day of posh demo to getting it to a releasable thing. If you, if you want to come here with gear, um, you, it's actually really easy. Uh, there's a car park where the barrier doesn't work at the moment, so it's free. <laughs> Basically, although Jonathan said they might have fixed it, but there's a, there is a, there's a car park and which comes out directly behind the camera, um, and so if you want to bring a four by twelve, we can between us we can get it down that ramp, down here, around here, and down the stairs. We've actually got some good amps here anyway, so um, you know lots of studios now are expected to have gear. We've got a fantastic Lazy J amp, um, uh, you know Fender Deluxe. Uh, we've got all sorts of things here anyway. But if you want to bring that, and people want to bring their own drums. Uh, we have a lovely Ludwig Super Classic here, but if you want to bring your own drums, there's a turning circle there if you want to drop a car off. It's, it's really easy, little pushy wheelie things, but you're in zone one. You can't, you can't do drums in zone one very many places like that.